Father Lord, we thank you and we bless you. Yes, Lord. We ask the Lord, you will usher us into this service Amen. as you have already ushered us yes. into your presence. Mm. Take absolute control. Yes. Send your angels to do what only you can permit them to do. And we pray for every individual that will be here today that you will touch them in a special way that they will not leave your presence the way they came into your presence. Thank you, Father, for the answered prayer. And every seed of Abraham will shout, Amen. Jump your hands together for the Lord. Come with me to the book of Psalm 75, verse 6. The God of promotion. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. Verse 8. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely it drinks, shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible talks about promotion. Amen. Amen. The Bible talks about promotion and everything we see our government or, or governance being practiced on this earth is already something that God practices in heaven. Amen. 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 The God of promotion is also the God who punishes Amen. the God who gives lives is also the God who takes life. Amen. There's a man by the name of Korah in the house of God who was very close to the servant of God, Moses, who banded together certain men and certain women. And they rose against the leadership of Moses and they tried to do something we call today in government a coup d'etat. And the Bible said that God spoke to Moses and he said, you don't need to lift a hand in this battle. Yes. You don't need to fight Korah and his people in this battle because I respect order in my kingdom. And even as I've instituted a nation for myself by the name of Israel, there must be order in this nation. So what did God do? The Bible said God opened the earth and pushed Korah and his people, his gang, into the earth and covered them alive and buried them alive. There was a time Joshua and his people were going for war. And the Bible said when Joshua called upon God, God did not release his spirit to come upon Joshua and Moses and the men of war to fight the, the enemy. But rather, God forfeited every assignment in heaven. And God began to throw down stones from heaven to hit the head of the enemy. So we have, we have, we have read countless occasions where God who gives life uh -huh. also kills Amen. and takes life. Amen. 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 And, and everything we see in the governments of the nations today, it is something that already exists in the kingdom or in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Amen. So as much as there is demotion, there is also promotion. The God of promotion. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of what? Promotion. promotion. Satan was promoted and was elevated in the sight of all the angels. And the Bible said in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 that he lifted his heart with pride and said, I want to promote myself above what God has promoted me. And he said, I want to lift my throne above all the angels. And I also want to lift my throne to where the throne of God is. And he became a demoted angel. He became a demoted angel. Some, some, some occasions we have dreams and in the dreams we see ourselves eating, we see ourselves traveling, we see ourselves in our village, we see ourselves in classroom, we see ourselves, permit me to, to use this word, in the toilet. Amen. We see ourselves having sex with our ex. We see ourselves being pursued by a madman. All these things are signs of nakedness. Hallelujah. They are signs of demotion. They are signs of shame. And as much as the devil has a ministry of destroying who God has elevated, God also has a ministry of promoting who the devil has demoted. Amen. And my prayer is that this morning, yes. within this one hour service, you will find grace and favor before God. Amen. 
And the same God who elevates, the same God who exalts, the same God who promotes, you will find grace and mercy before this God. Amen. And this God will promote you and elevate you beyond your capacity and your understanding. Amen. He talks about promotion not coming from the west, nor from the east, nor from the south. But in my study, the Lord gave me a revelation. And the revelation was that, my son, you see, there is a man east. There is a mention of the west. There is a mention of the south. There is one left. How many cardinal points do we have? Those of us who have been privileged to go to school. We have how many cardinal points? Can you mention them? North, south, east, and west. But when you read verse 6, it talks only about three cardinal points. It left one. Amen. Amen. It talks about the south. It talks about the, the south. It talks about the east. It talks about the west. But the, the north, it left. Hallelujah. Amen. It left the north cardinal point. And the reason why he left the north cardinal point is that he wants you to understand that when it comes to promotion, it is not a matter of your connection. Uh -huh. It is not a matter of your education. Uh -huh. It is not a matter of your certificates. Yes. It is not a matter of what you know or what you don't know. Yes. When it comes to promotion, it is a matter of God. Amen. Even Lucifer, even Satan, for him to have the audacity to come and touch your soul, to come and touch your feeble body, unless God has permitted it, he has no right to touch you. Amen. Are we together? Amen. So he talks about promotion not coming from the West. The West represent people you know. Not coming from the East. The East represent people you know. Not coming from the South. The South represent people you know. But he left the North because the North belongs to only God. Amen. That in this life, whose destiny is so powerful that to the point that without their presence in your life, you cannot make it. Then God sees becoming God. Then God also begins to have rivals on his throne as almighty, as all sufficient. There is one thing that no one can do for you, and that is to give you promotion. There is one particular thing that in this life, no human being on this earth can put his hand on his chest and say, without me, where would you be by now? The moment they assume that position, they have become rivals with the Most High God. Amen. Are we together? Amen. They have become rivals with the Most High God. He left the north part because when it comes to promotion, it only comes from above. Amen. And God wants you to understand this morning yes. that as much as the family foundation you are coming from and the generational curses you have inherited from your family and the problems you have inherited and the problems you have taken yourself into that has brought a lot of setback, retrogression, limitation, that has brought a lot of problems, hardship, and struggles into your life. The Most High God wants you to understand today. Yes. That regardless of your background, uh -huh. and regardless of your foundation, yes. lift up your eyes and look up unto Him. Amen. And as you lift up your eyes and you look up unto Him, yes. He who created you, and created you with a mission and with a purpose, that purpose will not fail before you die. Amen. That purpose will surely be fulfilled before you give up your last bread. Amen. Psalm 121 verse 1. David says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where comes my help? The hill David was talking about was not an ordinary hill. You can lift up your eye and see that this is a hill. David was connecting the scriptures together. That the four cardinal points, there is one particular one that comes from above. There is one particular one that comes from above. And that is the northern cardinal point. And when he said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hill, what he's saying is that I'm lifting up my eyes onto the the one who is able to give promotion. Amen. And he said as I lift up my eyes unto the one who is able to give promotion yes. he will neither sleep mm. nor slumber. Mm -hmm. This is the all sufficient and the no all knowing God. Yes. There is no even not even one second that passes without him knowing. Mm. The Bible said all the hairs all the strand of hair on your head he knows. Each one that falls to the ground he knows. David said, where shall I run unto that I will escape from the Lord? He said, if I go under the earth, 
that is where he is. If I go in the midst of the sea, that is where he is. It's a run, if I run onto the mountain, that is where he is. He is all knowing. He is all sufficient. He said, as I lift my eyes onto the hills, where will my help come from? My help will come from the Lord. Amen. As a young man and as a young woman growing up, you have seen your mother struggle. You have seen your father struggle. You have seen your uncles and your aunties they, they struggle. And when I talk about struggle, I'm not only limiting it to financial struggle. It could be academic struggle. That in your family, nobody has reached that level of having master's degree. But for me, master's degree is not even a, a, a matter of success in life. Because there are people who have master's degree and they cannot make ends meet. They cannot pay school fees. They cannot put food on the dining table. And there are people who did not even finish grade 12 and they are living comfortably by the grace of the Most High God. Are we together? Amen. And as you are growing up, you are asking yourself, how will I make it? Because there is nobody to give me a starting point. There is no one to give me a push. How will I become somebody prominent in life? Because I look to my left and I look to my right. Everybody is almost at the same level. There is somebody the devil has been telling you that everybody in your family is under a curse. Hey. And you can literally put your finger on everybody in your family that they are walking under the cloud of a problem, under the cloud of a curse. It may be marital curse. Hey. It may be financial curse it may be the curse of sickness and you can literally testify that there is a problem here and the devil is telling you that all the things that are happening around you mm. they are a sign that even you also you are under a curse wow. David said I will lift up my eyes on yes. the hills yes where will my help come from yes my father has failed me yes my mother has failed me yes my brothers have failed me yes who else will help me in this life hey. he said my help coming from the Lord yes it's your help coming from the Lord this morning yes if your help is coming from the Lord this morning, yes. then I want you to understand mm. that this Lord and this God, yes. he will neither slumber, he will neither sleep yeah. and he will not fail you. Yeah. As it, yeah. For the boy David who was left at the backside of the desert yes. and was elevated yeah. and was anointed yeah. and was honored yes. and he became a king over the nation of Israel. Yes. The same God will answer your prayer this morning. Yeah. And the same God will lift you from the backside of the desert. Yeah. The same God will anoint your head with olive oil. Amen. And the same God will elevate you this morning. Amen. Receive that elevation in the name of Jesus. Receive that elevation in the name of Jesus. Receive that elevation in the name of Jesus. The, name of Jesus. the Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. It is true that I come from a family of idol worshippers. It is true that I come from a family of polygamy. It is true that I come from a family that has a history of sickness and people die before their time. But glory be to God. Yes. I know what my parents did not know. Yes. I know what my ancestors did not know. Yes. I have lifted my hands hey. and I have lifted my heart my and I have lifted my eyes onto the hills yes. and I said to God yes. my ancestors failed you. Yes. The reason they failed you is because they they did not have the privilege yes. of receiving you as their Lord and their Savior. Hey. I have the privilege yes. of receiving and accepting you yes. as my Lord and my Savior. Yes. And the Bible says, whoever has come into Christ, behold, all things are old and everything has become new. Yes. And because everything has become new, yes. I am not expected to repeat the curse of my ancestors. Amen. I am expected to be elevated beyond my ancestors. Amen. And somebody that is listening to the sound of my voice, yes. before you finally give up the ghost mm. before you finally breathe your last breath yes. your ancestors mm. they will look at you from the other side of the world yes. from the spiritual side of the world yes. and they will receive you with gladness yes. and they will say you broke the record we couldn't break Amen. you built a house we couldn't build Amen. you got married and became faithful husband Amen. you got married and remained a faithful wife Amen. you did what we were not able to do yes. you are a record breaker Amen. You are a record breaker. Amen. You are a record breaker. Amen. As I stand before you this morning, yes. my hands are raised and my hands are lifted. Yes. Not unto any man, but unto the most high God. Yes. And on your behalf, I decree and I declare yes. that you will not die unfulfilled in the name Amen. of Jesus. You will not die unfulfilled in the name Amen. of Jesus. 
Amen. The same God of promotion. Yes. The same God who elevates. Yes. The same God who lift one. Yes. May this God remember you and elevate you. Amen. May this God remember you and elevate you. Amen. Where your ancestors reach and they fail. Yes. Where your ancestors reach and they committed suicide. Yes. Where your ancestors reach and they gave up. Yes. As you get there, the Lord will give you the wings of Amen. As you reach there, the Lord will give you the wings of Amen. For they that wait upon the Lord. Yes. Shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings like the eagle. Yes. They shall run and not be weary. Yes. They shall walk and never fail. Yes. They said the maiden shall be weary. Yes. And the young men shall be faint. Yes. They shall give up. But as for you and I, hey. we are not natural people. Yes. We are not naturally born. Yes. We are supernaturally born. Hey, we are supernaturally adopted. Hey, and he will give us the wings of the eagle. Hey, and I decree and I declare. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. what stop your father will bow before you? Amen. What stop your mother will bow before you? Amen. What stop your auntie will bow before you? Amen. What stop your uncle will bow before you? Amen. For greater is he that is in you yes. than he that is in the world. Yeah, For we have overcome the world. Yes. Even as little children, yes. we have overcome the world. Yes. And this is the victory yeah. that has overcome the world. Yes. Even our faith, yes. whatsoever that is born of God, yes. whatsoever that is born of God, yes. I am not born from my mother, yes. I am not born from my father. Hey. They are only a vessel. Yeah, they are only a channel yes. that introduced me into this life. Yes. The Bible said, I am born of God. Amen. And if I am born of God, yes. then I am victorious. Amen. Then I am overcomer. Amen. The God of promotion. Amen. The God of promotion. Amen. The God of promotion. Amen. May he promote you today. 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 Amen. First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 8. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 8. For it is him God that lifts the poor from the baller. You know what we Bola is damp here. Where rotting things and rejected things are left there. Somebody looked at me one day and they said, are you sure you are called by God? And I said, why do you say what you say? He said, when I look at your haircut and I look at the way you have shaved your mustache, I don't think God will use somebody like you. In his mind, he has already concluded. You are a baller. You are rejected. You, you are supposed to be on the dumb hill. And I looked at myself in the mirror. And my confidence was affected. I said, God, if you will use a man based on his physical appearance, then I am disqualified. If you will use a man based on his foundation, his family foundation, then I am disqualified. Yes. Because I am the one who led my mother to accept Christ. Mm. And I am the one who left my, led my father to also accept Christ. I am already disqualified. My family background are idol worshippers. I was left on the dump here. And God said, your promotion, Elijah, yes. it's not coming from the west. Yes. It's not coming from the east. Yes. It's not coming from the south. Yes. It is coming from above. Amen. 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 From above. Amen. And this same God yes. remembered me mm. and anointed me with grace. Yes. Anointed me by his mercy. And today, everywhere I stand, the glory of God is revealed. Amen. Everybody that meets me and has an encounter with my ministry, yes. they testified of the truth mm. that God is with, is with this man. Amen. That God is with this young man. Amen. My mother has a church she goes to. Church she goes to is a major prophetic church. I have personally taken my wife to that kind of a church. The size of the church is 10 times bigger than our church. Hey. This prophet has branches all over the world. My mother goes to that church. She said, Tighter in that church. I personally held her hand. I said, In my absence in this country, uh -huh. this is the church you should be going to. When I took my wife to my country, I carried my wife. We went to that church because it is a powerful church. But when my mother encounters a problem uh -huh. and her, the prayer of a prophet uh -huh. cannot work for her, I don't need to pray for her for one minute. Uh -huh phone it doesn't matter how serious the problem is yeah, yeah. on the phone i just speak a few words of prayer uh -huh. and in in, a, in an instant the God of promotion comes down. Amen. And he answers my prayer. Amen. And my mom is healed. 
and my mom is delivered. Amen. The Bible said the stone hey. the builders considered rejected yeah, has man. become the cornerstone. Amen. I don't know who I came here for, Amen. but you are about to be promoted. Amen. I said you are about to be promoted. I said you are about to be promoted. Amen. You are about to become the cornerstone. Amen. I said you are about to become the cornerstone. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Now to raise me, Lord. Raise me, Lord. Promote me, Lord. Rom Lord. Elevate me, Lord. Elevate me, Lord. He said he raises the poor from the dust. Dust. Let me give you the meaning of dust. Dust represents shame and disgrace. In Israel, when a man sins and he goes before God, for God to see that he has really humbled himself, he has to go into the dust carry the dust and rub it on himself. Or he goes to the kitchen and carry ashes and put the ashes on himself to signify that I am ashamed. I'm shameful. Amen. Amen. And I need mercy and I need grace. God says if you are shameful, your marriage is shameful. Your children are shameful. Because when, they are children, when other children are going for excursion, they cannot go. Imagine walking in the mall with your children. And your children begin to cry. Daddy, I want this toy. Daddy, I want this bag. Daddy, I want this shoe. Daddy, I want this crayon. And you don't have money to buy. I don't know. But me, I know how it feels. And when it becomes so tough. That I don't have what it takes to provide for my children. I cry. And sometimes tears physically come out of my eyes. Because one thing I don't want my children to go through is to go through what I went through in my childhood. And I promise myself that I came from a poor family. But my children will not come from a poor family. Amen. My children will come from a prosperous family. Amen. My father did not know what I know today. So it is okay for him to give birth to me and live in poverty. I know better than my father knows today. Yes. I know the scriptures. I can divide the scriptures. Mm. And I can apply the scriptures. Yes. So it becomes a big error uh -huh. for me to walk in shame. When there is a God that can raise me up. Amen. Are you listening to me somebody? Amen. Are you hearing me somebody? Amen. You should take pride in yourself. You should take so much pride in yourself. When you have the audacity to walk into toys are ass. And you walk out of toys are ass. With a bag of toys here. A bag of toys here. And there are two people following you also carrying toys. And it is all in the name of spending on your children. Be honest to yourself. When you were a child. Like your child. Did you have the privilege of having a toy? Some of us we are over 40 years. We have never had a, a, a birthday party in our life. Your children must have birthday party. That was, uh, Mwabantu must talk about. Amen. become a breaking news that the man who spent thousands of dollars on his child's birthday party when they are poor people in China man, looking for food to eat it must become breaking news hallelujah and you make your head like an articulator track when, when God blesses you instead of spending money on your children you spend money on your girlfriends and that is why you are still crawling in poverty that is why you are still crawling in poverty Hallelujah. Amen. Family, I say hallelujah. Amen. When God increases your finances, you also increase your girlfriends. When you don't have, your prayer is that God give to me so I can provide for my family. Give to me so I can provide for my children. And when God gives to you, the day you decide to even sleep with a girl, you don't go to this uh, lodges. You go to the most expensive one, intercontinental, to go and spend thousands of money and he lifted the needy from the ash heap. You know ashes. They heap them. And they put you inside. And all around you, you are surrounded. With disgrace and shame. People do their hair. And they are looking so confident. In the fact that. They are able to provide for themselves. And you. When you touch your hair, your hair is falling into your arms. Because there is no treatment that is going into your hair. May God remember you. Amen. And may this God promote you. Amen. Child, may 
may he remember you and may he promote you. Amen. You see, there is something I have noticed in this life. Especially to us who are married. To us who are married. I say to us because I am also and I'm included. In fact, me, I like looking more than even Kofi Mujiboy. I like looking too much. Amen. Oh. Amen. And I bless God that my wife also loves looking. So sometimes when I don't see, she even tells me that, honey, look. So there is no problem there. Besides, the Bible even says watch and pray. So watching is allowed. Touching is not allowed. Amen. Now, when you are in a relationship, some of us, we have a habit of continuously looking outside at other people's relationship. You are walking with a woman, you see another woman and you go like, I want you to be dressing like this. Hey. Then you'll be looking. You see another man and you wish that this man is rather your man. If it is about the shave and the haircut, be the one that will take your husband to the barber and tell the barber, I want this haircut. When my wife met me, I had a low cut like my resident pastor's cut. And she said, no, I don't like a low-cut. I like a mohawk. Here I am, seven years in marriage. I'm still carrying a mohawk. What's your headache? What's your headache? Are we together? Amen. What's your headache? I have started growing gray hair. She said, I don't like gray hair. So every Saturday, I have to go and buy dye. <laughs> and paint the gray hair. So this is my point. If you like a woman... To be very sexy, make sure that you spend money, buy those sexy dresses for your wife. 